you know that uh, business ethics is an emerging field in management of behaviors of people as to what is right or wrong uh, so um the behavior of a person can be determined uh, whether it is right or no, wrong through various set of uh, uh, very various different set of things for example it can be determined through law uh, uh, law will say uh, what is a right behavior or what is a wrong behavior uh, so uh, but laws are something which are very difficult to write about each and everything there are so many things which are possible in human behavior that cannot be dealt with whether the law allows it or whether the law permits it or not uh, so when uh, the law is unable to uh, uh, to deliver when the law is unable to describe what is right or wrong behavior uh, then what is required to be done is that ethics should come into play ethics is something which dis, uh, which uh, describes the values which are behind right or wrong uh, so if the law even does not say for example the law does not say uh, that you should disclose if you have any information uh, for example if you are part of a board of directors and you have an information there is no law which state and you get an information for example uh, you get an information through a personal contact that some kind of bribery or some some kind of corruption is taking place so there is no law to say that well if you get that kind of information it is something that you should bring it to the notice of other people you should bring it in public there is no law if you don't do that you are not wrong according to the law but if you know that and you do you keep it to yourself that is something which is unethical uh, so ethics is something which is which is much above the law so if people follow ethics of uh, which which are the general concepts the general values of truth the general value of honesty of bravery of courage of wisdom uh, of uh, uh, generosity uh, so various different aspects various different values which are behind being ethical uh, that is something which makes your behavior much more uh, the inclined towards being right towards being good uh, rather than just being neutral and just being at the zero level uh, if you do something wrong that is something which is on the negative side but what is required to be done is that you should do good things uh, so ethics is something which is which comes into play when the law law only makes you do neutral things but ethics is something which makes you do the right thing uh, so many times it happens that the people who are working in organizations they must do ethical things rather than just the lawful things if you just abide by the law then you become a part of the bureaucracy's iron cage what you need to do is that you need to become ethical so uh, there are various different aspects which have uh, developed uh, parallel to this for example organizational citizenship behaviors which are about people doing more for the organization than corporate social responsibility the organization is doing for the society so all these things they are not under the law these things are what are beyond what is uh, written in the law and unless you don't do good uh, good is not going to come back to you that is something which is a, a matter of karma uh, so that is why business ethics has taken uh, an important role and it's not just that it has just emerged out of the blue things has ha have happened there are various different scandals which took place uh, in the early 2000s uh, in which uh, uh, people should have behaved in the ethical way if they had behaved in the ethical way the problems which had emerged they could have been prevented but because they were not required by law uh, and they did not think that they are supposed to behave in ethical ways so the companies the organizations they actually went into 
difficult problems uh, such as uh, concealment of facts, such as concealment of incomes, uh, such as um, briberies, corruption and all these things and that was something which was not taken care of. So, uh, now when we come to ethics, ethics is something which is very much related with culture. So, in some cultures, for example, bribery is considered to be a normal thing. In some uh, cultures, it is considered to be a very bad thing. Uh, so, the international manager, he comes, he or she has to face different ethical dilemmas. Uh, so, giving gifts, for example, is very common in Japan. It's very common in Saudi Arabia. But for example, in our culture, uh, when you give someone a business or uh, professional relationship, it feels that you are trying to bribe him or you are trying to, bribe him, you are trying to you know, manipulate the relationship uh, by that gift. Uh, so these are the ethical dilemmas which our, uh, an international manager will have to face. So international managers, they have to decide which ethical norms to follow. So there are three types of responses that the international managers can give. So first type is the, uh, is the response of being ethical relativist. Uh, relativist. Uh, ethical relativist is uh, that, that person says that there are no universal or international rights and wrong. So it all depends on the culture and values of, and, and beliefs uh, of the people of that particular locality. So the common adage which says when in Rome, do as the Romans do, that fits into the ethical relativist uh, perception. So the ethical relativist that thinks that what is happening in Rome is doing the So just be you go to any place, the ethical laws or values are going to follow them in the same way. Then another opposite aspect is that of ethical absolutist. So, absolute is the that ethical absolutism hona chahi. Ke do, jo ethical values are absolute. Hai. Honesty, ki, truth, ki, ye jo values are absolute. Hai. So, for example, bribery is the honesty ki value ko, uh, jo hai, wo negate. Karti hai. So, uh, bribery is not in any situation. Mein. Uh, so, they believe that when in Rome, one should do what one would do at home regardless of what the Romans do. So the absolutist that believe that what they, uh, what they consider right, that is right, wherever they go, that is going to be the right thing. Uh, then is the ethical universalist. That person believes that there are fundamental principles of right and wrong which transcend the cultural boundaries and that MNEs must adhere to these fundamental principles or global values. So they believe that there are universal principles. Hai. Jaysay, for example, if you say a joke, it will be considered as a joke anywhere. Or if you give someone a joke, it will be considered as a joke anywhere. To kill someone, to kill someone, to kill someone, these are all things that are universal uh, values. Hai. So, कुछ चीजें जो हैं वो uh, relative होती हैं, कुछ चीजें जो हैं वो universalist होती हैं. So आप किसी भी uh, उसमें situation में, you cannot be a total universalist, you cannot be a total relativist. Some things have to be taken from the aspect of universalist. Some things have to be taken from the aspect of relativist. Uh, so, uh, but these are the different responses or the different standpoints which can be taken on ethical dilemmas which are faced by international managers in international era, uh, arena. Uh, 